Let's write this mixed number as a decimal and if necessary round to the nearest thousands. So here I have my mixed number 5 and 8 ninths. I know the whole number part of this mixed number will be the same as the whole number part of the decimal, so I simply need to concentrate on the fraction part. Let's concentrate on writing 8 ninths as an equivalent decimal. To do so, remember there are two ways. One, if you can easily see a way of making the denominator tenths, hundredths, thousandths, or so on. Well, I can't easily see a way of doing that with a denominator of 9. The second way is just to divide the denominator into the numerator. So let's divide 9 into 8, and let's add some zeros and start dividing. Here is my decimal point in the quotient. How many times does 9 divide into 80? Well, 9 times 8 is 72, so 8 times 9 is 72. Watch very carefully because when we subtract, we have a remainder of 8. I'll bring down a 0, and notice I have 80 again. 9 divides into 80 8 times because 8 times 9 is 72. Notice 8 as a remainder. Bring down a 0, I have 80 again. Can you see that this is going to be 8 with a bar over it? 8 ninths is equivalent to 8 tenths but with a bar over the 8 because these 8's continue indefinitely. So that is exactly as a decimal, but since this continues past the thousands place, let's go ahead and round it to the nearest thousands. To do so, let's write this out so you can see it very clearly. Of course, this continues. This is tens, hundreds, thousands. So let's look at this number. Is this 5 or greater? The answer is yes. So I will add 1 to this number, and then I'll drop all of these to the right. So this is approximately 5 decimal point 889 to the nearest thousands.